Don't forget to stow the David St. Jack making history today, becoming the fourth Canadian to walk in space. The 49 year old spent six and a half hours working alongside an American astronaut to update the power system on the International Space Station. Melanie Ng has a look at how grueling a spacewalk can actually be. It's a, such a rare day for, for David, but, but even more so for humanity. It's a really cool day. A big day for the Canadian space program with astronaut David St. Jacques walking in space, the first Canadian to do so in 12 years. I spoke with Commander Hadfield, who knows a thing or two about what it's like. You know, the first piece of the station was put up in 98, and so there have been a lot of changes since then. So uh, Anne and David have to fix one battery out there that's not working. It's a battery about the size of a bar fridge. And then they're going to be stringing cables that are for power for the space station, power for the Canadian arm, and then also um, like uh, communications and uh, video sort of cables so that um, as unmanned ships and new ships are coming up to the front of the station, they have connectivity right through the whole thing. So it's a, a whole bunch of really finicky cable routing. David will be climbing right in and outside of the truss of the space station. So like crawling in back and, and, um, and then climbing around the outside, he's going to be one busy guy. For seven hours, it's very physical, but it's also very mental. What's, what, do you, what is going on through his head, do you think, at this time? Well, it, it, um, apart from launch, it'll be the most dangerous thing David's done in his life. He's out there uh, with nothing but a cloth, a little tiny pressurized uh, cloth suit, really, really like a, a one-person spaceship that is between him and the empty universe. So you have to focus and really pay attention that you don't make any mistakes. And then he's working with mission control. They've got to do everything right. It, you feel like you're, uh, you're running sort of as fast as you can. Or, or maybe lifting weights on a, on a bench press machine because the suit's so so stiff for for seven hours and and it's so finicky and technical all of the work they're doing it, it's it'll be the most uh, focused seven hours of his life also pretty incredible let me ask you do you miss it no I love it <laughs> yeah, it, yeah yeah no I, I mean I, I've walked in space twice and and uh, I don't miss my own life you know I, I love the things that have happened and I'm delighted that since I did Canada's first spacewalk, um, Steve McLean walked in space, Dave Williams did about a decade ago, but today, David St. Jacques, on behalf of us all, is, uh, is in outer space. He's about to pull himself outside and, uh, and be one of the very few Canadians and human beings that's ever taken that early first step. After today's spacewalk, David's mission is far from over. He's not set to come back down to Earth until June. Melanie Ng, City News.